Remember the first time your child fell on her behind while learning to walk? Her reaction depended on your reaction. What if you have the same influence on how she remembers this pandemic? This is Motherhood Unmasked, the podcast for real talk about the challenges moms face. I'm your host, Vanessa Harris, but mama, you are the hero. So leave your mask at the door. We're all friends here. Welcome. It's so good to have you joining me today. Listen, how are you doing? I know that's a loaded question depending on where I'm finding you at this moment. But I'm telling you, the past couple of months are a giant reminder that we can't control what happens to us. And that reality stands in direct contrast to what most mothers are all about, making and executing plans for our children. And you had big plans this year, right? So did I. With kids graduating high school, you or your child graduating college, milestone school year promotions, and spring birthdays, you had it all mapped out. But then we all had to stay six feet away from each other to live to see future milestones. And that was a blow to the jaw. But what I love about a mama is your bounce back. You drew a line in the sand and told Corona not to cross it. Then you made new plans for virtual birthday parties and drive-by graduate celebrations. Maybe you're hosting a 12th grade graduation for one at your house like my best friend is doing, or a fifth grade promotion celebration for your daughter like I am. Because you recognize these occasions only come around once and they deserve the best commemoration possible. And I encourage you to approach this entire pandemic experience that way. You get to frame how your family remembers this time overall. You do it daily in the small wins you emphasize, the pictures you take while staying home, and like we said in the last episode, the new things you try. Because if you're like me, you want your kids to remember what they've overcome, that they had to do what life requires, to pivot at a moment's notice, and to appreciate that when they did, they survived. The world didn't fall apart. In fact, they learned who holds them together when life throws them a sucker punch. So this week, I took pictures of my children learning at home, laptops and cords all over the kitchen. I even snapped one of my husband working from the home office. And then we capped off the week with our own fifth grade promotion ceremony for our daughter. I made a DIY graduation hat because Amazon Prime two-day delivery is not happening these days. And I wouldn't have gotten a real hat delivered in time. So you know how moms do. I got on YouTube, searched how to make one out of poster board, grabbed my glue gun, and blinged it out with rhinestones I already had. My husband played principal as I presented her the all-year honor roll certificate she worked hard for. Then we enjoyed a sheet cake I baked in her honor. And though my makeshift promotion ceremony wasn't as grand as what her school normally plans, her achievement still matters and she deserved to have something to look back on and remember. A tangible marker that she completed a major milestone as she embarks on a new one. And not only did she get her moment to shine, she saw firsthand the resilience of a woman, especially when that woman's a mama. A life lesson she needs going forward. That while we can't control what happens to us, we can control how we characterize it and influence others to do likewise. How are you framing this unexpected and devastating time in history? What good can you emphasize over all the bad? What memories will your kids be able to smile about when they look back at the spring of 2020? What will they believe they can conquer going forward because of what they're overcoming now? And how can you shape and document that narrative? We moms are so hard on ourselves, but I bet if you stop and think about it, you'll remember your kind words or gestures that put a positive spin on all the chaos this spring. Because as demanding as this pandemic season has been, it's also forced you to discover new levels of resourcefulness. Who 
knows how to take life's lemons and make lemonade like moms? And I'd love to hear how you've done just that, the ways you're commemorating milestones and capturing everyday moments. Share them with me and the rest of us over on Instagram at Motherhood Unmasked Podcast. And let's give each other some new ideas to add to our mom toolkits. So remember, as you wrap up the school year and reflect on all your family's highlights this spring, when it comes to being the mother of your children, you are the woman for the job. Take care. Thanks for making this podcast part of your day today. Before you go, please be sure to rate and subscribe to the podcast. That way you get notified about new episodes while helping other moms discover the show. Motherhood Unmasked is sponsored by Vine Life Faith, where we're breaking negative cycles and building healthy community through connection with Christ. VineLifeFaith.com